Hey guys, it's El Betium back with another playthrough. Oh, now, yeah. this is the second time, sorry, I'm gonna be skipping that. Uh, this is the second time I'm actually starting this. I went uh, like as far as after Vicar Amelia, just a sec, so I don't actually butcher my own YouTube name. Uh, Origin, we're gonna go with the military veteran. Nothing really wrong with the appearance. So basically it was, I reached the Charwick Lane and uh, then I realized that my awesome PC mic is not really that compatible with PlayStation 5. Just echoey for some reason and it bothered the crap out of me. Oh my gosh, the commentary was good. Gameplay was pretty damn decent. But hey, at least it uh, allowed me a little bit, you know, to shake off the Elden Ring control scheme, like uh, how you interact with things on a uh, triangle, you know? Hey, man! <laughs> okay, I will play. There we go. I may be unarmed, but I am far from not dangerous. And Mr. Wolf learned that the hard way over there. My goodness, guys, look at this game. Does this actually need a remaster or a remake? And, uh, you know, 60 FPS aside, but visually, this game will always look beautiful. Look at this. This is just... Oh my gosh. I wouldn't touch this game when it comes to the quality of graphics at all. Okay, yes, yes, sure. Man, try to visceral him. Not working you know what let's drag him away from here okay let's climb oh a mating call of a cleric beast you know what we're gonna be very sure to answer that okay yes return to the hunter's dream and look at that guy. Like this time when I was redoing it was actually the first time I saw this guy climbs up there. And just as my character was disappearing, man, <laughs> that uh, hatchet just flew right through me. Okay guys, so just like how I played Dark Souls 1, you know, I'm gonna be playing Bloodborne how I played it the first time also. Mr. German. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, that I am, good sir. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So thank you for that. And uh, let's put up our new stuff. So we can actually dish out some uh, hurt and damage. Now, here's the thing. You can you know, die once, like it's recommended that you do die once at the beginning of uh, Bloodborne, because dying, it gives you like one insight and uh, grants you the ability to use the doll. I don't want to do that. I'm gonna go and kill the Cleric Beast. Answer, it's... Uh... Wow, uh, this keeps happening constantly, guys, and I don't know why. Out of nowhere, the character is just gonna be popping these uh, gestures, and I'm like, why? I didn't press anything. Highly efficient. And there is a little procession going down there. My goodness, it would be a damn shame if something happened to them. You know, bad things, they just 
They just happen out of nowhere, don't they, guys? Whoops! <laughs> we are all about being efficient here. Okay, that I collected. This I have collected now. Yes, yes, I am a cursed beast. I'm sure you say that to all the hunters. Huh. Wailing on the other side of the door? Someone... Let me guess what happened. Someone dropped a pretty big Lego set and it just burst into a thousand... More than a thousand. Three thousand pieces. And now they're all crying over it. So either that... Or there was a very disappointing performance at a orgy. And this guy, man, he sits there forever, you know, hoping like, come on, come on, today's the day someone walks into my trap. And then I walk into the trap and he's like looking at me. Yes, yes, you're very dangerous. Okay, give me that. Give me some of this too. Oh, it's the guy with the... Actually, two guys with a sword. Yes, yes. Get condensed like that. Uh, there's a little thing you can do. It's a little technique, little trick. When you have two enemies that are kind of close to each other, but uh, maybe not so close that you can uh, swing at both of them with the same hit, you can change, you know, the lock-on as you're swinging your weapon, so not something I've done here because of the weird placement of this guy. I wasn't sure if the carriage was going to be blocking me. Man, we're getting some good blood vials, though. Okay, here, we're going to do this. Man, who would have thought that a gunshot was going to alert literally everyone? And it's, uh, you know what, it's so funny how things from your first playthrough are kind of stuck with you. The guys with pitchforks, these guys are a man. These guys will always stay with me. Like the amount of times these guys killed me the first time I played Bloodborne, that was not even funny. Okay, so we're kind of trimming out their numbers here, and uh, yeah, there's another little procession coming. And I would be a very bad host if uh, I didn't let them come to me. You know, I have a lot of pain. Their name on it. My god, I love this weapon. Come on! I don't want to get uh, overcommitted to things because, uh, realistically, we still basically don't have any type of defense on. We have this uh, default little outfit not sure even how to call it yet man look at that guy dude run to me yeah he's glitching out someone behind whoa and of course, it's a guy with a pitchfork. Wow, I have achieved a nice little collection here. Maybe they're even spelling something, who knows. Whoa, now these guys. Oh my gosh. There's going to be puppies. Yes, yes, it's always my fault. My god, like, 
Whoa! Okay. So basically, it's the same thing for me in video games and real life. Everything is always my fault. How weird is it that uh, even video games started uh, piling on? It's all your fault, Elbethium. I guess uh, that works both ways, cheesing like that. Boo. There we go. Give me those awesome, awesome bullets. <laughs> yes, who is it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wouldn't it be funny if those uh, little Girl Scouts were knocking on your door like that? Open the door! We got cookies! <laughs> no, not cookies! Like, especially if you have, you know, like, a uh, diabetes problem. And you want the cookies. See, this is creepy as fuck. Just a abandoned baby stroller. And uh, then you have a adult stroller, too. Yes, yes. Ooh. Told you, man, I'm about efficiency here. You know what? Let's put that torch in our little pause. Okay, now there's going to be another procession. There's going to be puppies. How the hell did I miss that? Okay. Yes, yes, I am a cursed beast. Hey, Mr. Puppy. Whoa! I was waiting for my moment there. Lock on this guy, but I was I was pretty sure that the dog was going to get between me. Whoa! Dude! How did you hide over there? Man, I took some hits here. What in the... I did not press that. God, I hope my uh, gamepad is not uh, dying on me again. This would be like the... This is the sixth one right now that I'm using. The sixth dual sense. Okay, let's get that. Now these guys over here. Okay, poke. Don't wanna don't wanna fight both of them at the same time. There we go. Nice and clean. Hey, Mr. Dog. Hey, dude. Wow, you do not want to give me attention. Man, that was... that was a close one. There we go. Okay, there is something over here though. And if you heard that, Felix is being very needy. Let's tend to Felix for just a sec.
And now Mimi is uh, in here with us also. I tell you guys, these little ones are so precious, uh, so damn cute. Bloodstone shard, nice. Now here's the thing, uh, we should be going to fight the cleric beast now, but I think I'm gonna do something else. We're gonna be... Look at this guy, man. Uh, we're gonna be unlocking two shortcuts. Now, I would love to put on a little bit of armor uh, before we fight the button. No, what? That doesn't sound like something I would do, honestly. Nah. Should I fight? I mean, I never fought uh, Cleric Beast with... Uh... Hmm... Anyway, a little lesson in these games. If you are in a very dark place like this, simply pressing the lock-on button, it's going to yield amazing results for you. It just tells you immediately if there are enemies or not. The pungent blood cocktail. Yeah, we're gonna need that later. Lovely little door. Okay, get this. Some nice bloodstone shards. Open this up here next to Coughing Gilbert. I haven't talked to him. Uh, in all honesty, I just don't want to catch whatever he's having. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Let's do that. I, I never did it uh, that way. Let's proceed over here basically we're also gonna be unlocking a shortcut you know not shortcut I wouldn't call it a shortcut just a pathway to Mr. Father Gascoigne and uh, my gosh I'm kinda struggling to see there is uh, sunlight coming in here whoa okay so where do I actually go I think there's a ladder somewhere here. Oh my god, I regret everything. Nah, these guys, this guy hit like a, like a truck, you know, and uh, I have absolutely no protection, so it kind of it made me feel a little bit naked here, you know? Okay, so on which side? What in the... Okay. Look at these little guys, like, just running. Man, would have sworn there was another one there. Okay, I know, I know. It's a lot of bullets. I just don't want to get hit. Bloodstone shard, and uh, here we have... Excellent. Hunter garb. Hmm, that is uh, quite a big of a difference when it comes to defensive capability, and we absolutely want this. Now, this thing over here, I don't think I've ever once... Yep. <laughs> ever once managed to land there correctly and it's not going to be this way either now everything here is absolutely disgusting you have these uh, half-eaten corpses those poor crows as well And when you kill those uh, half-eaten corpses, instead of blood, I mean, maybe it's blood, I don't know. You get this uh, green crap all over you. It's just... Oh my goodness. 
But uh, I gotta tell you, this is interesting. Doing this this way. Never went this route before fighting the Cleric Beast. And you know, just considering how many times I did play Bloodborne, it's just interesting, you know, to uh, do these uh, little things like that. There we go. Quick and easy. For me, not for them. Very painful. For them. Okay, so... Basically... We have all of this uh, unlocked. There we go, yeah. Uh, not just unlocked, but uh, cleaned up. And let me guess, this door... Doesn't open from this side. I tell you guys, From Software gave me door paranoia in other games, and I'm just waiting for this to start spilling over into real life. You know, to <laughs> like grab a doorknob, like please open from this uh, side, please do. Mr. Cleric Beast, I'm here to kick thy ass. Whoa, it did not start that way, did it? Nah, why am I even firing those little bullets there? Okay. What am I doing, man? Like... You know what? I am playing around too much. Okay. Just because this is the first boss... Don't underestimate it. Okay, okay. I mean, it would be pretty embarrassing if I die here on the first damn boss, man. How the hell did he hit me behind? Okay, kind of knew that uh, attack was going to be coming. How did that miss? I kind of feel sorry for him at the same time. Okay, there we go. I still don't have my dodging up to speed and everything, so I was kind of taking my time there because it's a perfect uh, boss, you know, to do these things. Now, we have achieved four of uh, insight and the doll is just going to be up and running back at the dream. So that means we can finally finally level up and since we collected a few of those uh, little shards uh, we're gonna be upgrading our little weapon too okay all hunter bell yes 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 the little workbench fortify weapon nice man nice now did I 
No, we still didn't find any like uh, blood gems for anything. I absolutely Hello, adore the doll. Hello, good I doll. Honorable hunter. Honorable doll. I will channel them into your strength. You will this them. is the same voice actress that uh, did the uh, lady from Demon Souls. You know, the lady that uh, helps you level up. Uh, okay, so you know what? first thing I should do is probably some strength. So we're doing more damage. It has also increased our physical defense three times almost. That is uh, pretty damn good. And uh, next we're going to be giving us a little bit of uh, maybe stamina. And the last thing I'm going to be doing is the HP. You don't need HP if you're not getting hit. But the doll, I will never live down the regret of not buying the Nendoroid. I absolutely adore the doll. I love Nendoroid. Not all of them. They have to be kind of special. Uh, guys, you know what? Give me just a sec. Okay, and we're back. And uh, so, Central Yarnum is going to be. And uh, if I remember correctly, Father Gascoigne is uh, very close by. So I think I'm going to play up to him and uh, we're gonna cut there and I'm gonna proceed to maybe level up a little bit more because uh, you know what it's actually a pretty tough fight for such an early game and I don't feel like my character is uh, there yet needs a couple of more level ups with the stamina perhaps the most and maybe even the weapon I'm gonna go read up if it can be done, of course. Whoa! Okay, man. I did not expect that. Absolutely love this when I use blood vials and we immediately. Ah, oh, man, I should have. Yeah, I should have done this first. Okay, so the elevator is here. I would like to go and uh, kill that pig down uh, downstairs, to be honest. Huh. You know what, let's do just that. Okay. Man, look at that thing. Now, this is quite the hog. <laughs> Proctology exam! Saw Hunter badge. Nice. Blood vial. Man, I should, you know, do this so we kind of keep the blood vials also. And, uh, wait. I think I went the wrong way. Did I? No? There's supposed to be a uh, passage. There we go. Man, it's... Uh, it's really dark. And I hate it when, uh, you know, a little bit of sunlight comes into the room where the TV is. Things just go dark. Hardcore. Okay, someone's having indigestion. Give me that stuff, man! And uh, did these guys leave anything? I do believe those are items down there. Probably some vials. Would hope for some bullets, though. Yes! Nice! Okay, no items on these uh, either side of the bridge. Which is absolutely fine. Just making sure. Just making sure there. Okay, get one guy to follow. Ooh. 
Dude, come. That's very good that I uh, got that also because, like I said, gonna be uh, cutting here oil urn. You know what? Might use that actually on the guy. So, okay, this is the arena. Let's go level up a little bit more and we will be proceeding with the boss fight. Okay, so we went, got a few levels. I also went and... Uh, no, not use. God, uh, just a sec. I also went and got... The tiny music box. Now, not that we actually need this to beat him. I just thought it might be kind of cool story-wise, you know. My goodness. Not gonna watch the cinematic, as iconic as it is. And also, not gonna fight him down there amongst the tombstones. We're gonna be handling this like gentlemen in the street. We're gonna be keeping this very graceful. Does it now? It's enough to make a man sick. No, wrong button. Gosh darn it, man. Okay. More bullets. The tombstones, they are such a cool detail, but they are more of a nuisance, honestly, because uh, you are gonna get uh, stuck there. I knew it, man. Okay, are you gonna start transforming? Not yet. Which is very good, honestly. Wow, that did nothing! No, dude. <laughs> That puppy. Oh gosh. There we go. I just you know, just for show, you know. Just for show. To be a little bit more cinematic. Anyway, that is Mr. Father Gascoin. Absolutely iconic, iconic fight to the Soulsborne series. Uh, walking through this place over here, it actually reminded me, I still don't know how we're gonna be proceeding when it comes to the ending of this uh, playthrough. Am I going to actually, you know, bother gathering all the umbilical cords and fight the moon presence, or should I just uh, have Mr. German be the final boss? I absolutely love that guy. But that is a decision for a little bit later. Okay, so we are at Cathedral Ward and uh, I need to apologize, the microphone wasn't uh, recording, it was muted, so I kind of killed these two guys, uh, I collected that uh, armor over there, which uh, you can tell by this uh, new swanky coat that I'm rocking right now, but we are gonna be on our way to Old Yarnum. now this is a completely 
optional area, but it actually has some pretty strategic uh, importance. You know what? We're not gonna be uh, pussyfooting around. Yeah, these guys are a little bit tougher. Nah, they're not. <laughs> anyway, in old Ar Yarnum, we can actually level up pretty decently. It is just littered with uh, blood shards that we need, you know, to... Wow, I am not pressing this. And it keeps happening. Uh, we need to level up the weapon. That's going to be absolutely awesome. Plus, I just adore the fight against the uh, Bloodstar Beast. Oh, look, it is a puppy. Huh. What the hell, man? I'm stuck. Wow, that was one resilient dog. Anyway. Stuck over there next to the statue. This guy should give me some nice bullets. Come on. Excellent smithers. I don't know why I was trying to run through the door. Is there something here? Nothing. But I think I should go down on this side, talk to the NPC. Not that I'm gonna be following a lot of these quest lines or anything. You're a beast hunter, aren't you? Yes, yes, I what gave me away? That's precisely how I started out. Oh, it's like we're the same person! You may call me Alfred. I will call you, you Solaire. Bloodborne Let's Solaire. See. Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate? See? <laughs> this is basically oh, Solaire. Very good. Very, very good, good indeed. indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Fire paper, nice. Imagine if he just gave me some sort of crap. Like rubber dildo or something. Here, take this to celebrate our new, you know, friendship. Like, thank you, thank you, Alfred. It's uh, something I always wanted, I guess. <laughs> you know, try to be polite when people give you deliberately awful gifts. Okay, Madman's Knowledge. You know what? Absolutely adore the design of that little icon over there. Like, it literally has its mind blown, which is so spot on, it's crazy. Tempering Blood Gemstone. Nice. Man, I do have a torch, but why am I not using it? Come on, man, do the grab. Kind of in my own way here, honestly. Did we kill him? Yes, we did. Give me thy stuff. Okay, so it's pretty dark. Doesn't matter. I do have a torch, but, you know, I would have to open my inventory... Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh. Oh yes, if you have a fetish for role-breaking things in uh, Soulsborne games... Oh my god, that was that was a good one. You know what, I honestly can't see anything. Oh my god, and it's actually in my inventory already. Well, okay. Just a sec, wasn't there? Oh my goodness. That was unintentional. Antidote. Now, this is going to be very, very important. Especially in the fight against the Blood Starved Beast. Now, over here, I think inside. There we go. Punch and Blunt uh, Cocktail. And again, he performs a gesture. I am not pressing anything. No, we're not going to be doing that. Uh, where's the door? There it is. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, let's get prepared. You there, Hunter. Yes. Did you see the warning? Turn back at once. I will not. Old Yarnum, burned and abandoned by men, is now home only to beasts. They are of no harm to those of us. Turn back, for the Hunter. Where? What? Where is it? Where is it? No. You and your yappin distracted me from it. It's fine. It's fine. Wow, I actually got hit. That's crazy. I was sure. I was avoiding that, but alas... Still kind of dark here, though. Now, if I remember correctly, this here is going to be a little shortcut. Now we're gonna be making our way back. Oh my gosh, right. Man, that's a long climb. Now, I do think, uh, for once, I might spare this guy and uh, not actually kill him. Man, with these guys, I can never, never tell the depths, you know, how far they are, how close they are. No, come on, man. Yeah, I need uh, I need more hitting power on the weapon with the uh, little level ups that I did. I pretty much gave myself a little bit more stamina, but okay, that's nice. Hmm. Trying to remember now, is there going to actually be? place I can... Yes, 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 there's going to be it, okay. Because yes. I want to level up. We're going to be going down here. Blood shards? Yes, please. He actually has an angle through the wall cracks over there. It's incredible. The antidote? Very important. Okay, nice. Blew up one of them. Yeah, I definitely need more hitting power here. Come on, man. Fire that weapon. Oh, goodness. Antidote, nice, nice. Oh, dude, what the hell was this, man? Okay, that that's new. That never happened to me before. Like these little birds killing me almost. Come on, man. Ok, 
Okie dokie. Give me stuff now. Nothing. Typical. Hmm. Antidote, more antidote. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. I mean, it's really easy to be like that on a minigun. No, 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 no. Making a collection of uh, bodies here, so to speak. It is something I do in uh, games like Assassin's Creed, Mafia 3 perhaps, where you can pick up bodies, and uh, I always uh, make a pile. Let it not be said that Elbethium is uh, not an artist. Okay, let's get this. Start running. Nah, you will not. The lack of edge when it comes to offense is uh, bothering me. Sla Whoa! How, man? Is bothering me slightly. Honestly. There's also going to be a NPC down there, and uh, you know what, I don't think I'm going to be fighting him yet, because of the mentioned lack of edge. Look at that guy up there. Okay, we did that. Any items here? No, nothing. Man, when these guys start screaming. I absolutely need a little bit more damage when it comes to the output. This is, uh, this is not good. Oh, <laughs> love the ragdolls. Both cats and in the games, like these. Okay, so I hear little feet. It's going to be a scream, and uh, they are now just going to be swarming up here, aren't they? Yeah, here comes the first one. I'm getting such a nice tint here, I'm tired. Yeah, go there into the corner. Oh, wow, okay. One of them is a visionary, apparently, who saw right through my... There we go. You know what, I really sh would do well to put that there for easy access. Hmm. No more. Goodness, I am running low a little bit on blood vials, so that is good that we finally got some. Bloodstone shard, okay. 
I mean, at a certain point, they are going to be kind of useless for me. Uh, this is how I plan to play the rest of the game. This weapon is going to be what I use. Let me guess, there are enemies here. Of course there are. Hmm, you know what. Let's get in there and uh, get our hands dirty, so to speak. I'm just getting an angle so that uh, I can hit basically all of them while uh, being uh, locked on to the largest foe. Okay, Madman's Knowledge. So the Blood-Starved Beast is not unique, there's like more. Or maybe this is its mate and that is why it is so pissed off over there. You know what, those birds, not worth it, honestly. They shred my ears every single time I approach them and they die in like one hit. Blood Vial 6, beautiful. Now, we're gonna be just... Uh, sorry about that little hiccup. Uh, we're gonna be unlocking a little shortcut, just in case. Because you never know with these games. I'm gonna feel sorry. Uh, going back to the Hunter's Dream and just undoing this uh, beautiful work of art that I have uh, going all over the character. Like, we are seriously drenched here. Wow, that was actually pretty impressive. Why is this taking so long? There we go. Bloodstone Shard 3. Excellent, Smithers. More pungent uh, blood cocktail. That is very nice. Oh my god, he has uh, backup here. Okay, you're gonna stop snarling and fight. More bloodstone shards. I'm just hoping I am going to be, you know, sufficiently offensive once I do reach the bloodstarved beast because uh, it can be tricky sometimes. I absolutely adore that boss, but look at that Spider-Man up there. Efficient. Wow, three shots to finish him off. Okay, okay. You know what, let's do this. Like that. Uh, antidote, what is this? Okay, see an enemy. Wow, okay. 
my gosh, I'm completely bloodied almost and uh, couldn't have come at the worst time. Because I'm gonna be going back towards the, you know, dream and uh, leveling up and it's going to undo all of this. Like the character looks so damn wet. Fire paper, nice. You know what? I cannot forget to have that on hand for the boss fight. Just so we do everything a little bit quicker. Okay guys, so this is the shortcut. Uh, I'm gonna be going up to the lantern and leveling up and we're gonna be picking it up. And moving on! Okay, that guy didn't hear us. Now there's gonna be a screamer, Jesus! That is so loud, man. This guy has red eyes. Okay, Bloodstone Shard, another one. The thing is, I went and I upgraded my stuff, and now we no longer need the bloodstone shards. Okay, there's a little thing. Come on, come on. Okay, please, twin shards. Nope. It did not. Grant me that. What? Summon Alfred? No, thank you, Alfred, but... Uh, this is something that I need to do myself. I'm very sorry. Now, just a second. We are gonna be adding the pungent blood cocktail. My goodness, if that doesn't make your mouth water, <laughs> nothing will. And there's the blood starved beast already. My gosh, we are uh, very much doing a lot of damage to her. Oh no, it is going to get me! You know what? <laughs> I don't think that's going to work anymore now. Is it? Punchant blood? Whoa! No, it won't! You know what? Uh, fire paper! No! On top of it! Again. What the hell am I doing, man? Okay. Okay, Mr. Fire Paper. Gonna have to chase it around a little bit. No, nope, wrong button. Wrong button there. Okay, and that's all she wrote. We were never really in danger any type of... Uh, I don't know. Predicament that we were not. See this through. Because we did. And back to the dream we go.
time. I'm off during hunt, so if that's what you're here for, if that's something to do with it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Might you know of a safe place? The night is long, and there's very little of the incense left. Please, there must be some nice place to run off to. Oh, thank you, darling. Maybe I'll... <laughs> Okay, this guy is still snarling here. He actually can hit us also. Probably the most hated enemy in the entire game for me personally. Bergenworth. Now, if that isn't a funny word, I don't know what is, honestly. Ten bullets? We're gonna put those to good use. There's a puppy down there. There we go. Take that puppy. We've been spotted. There we go. Because pain is something we have in spades. Wow, survive that! Look at you, man! Wait, 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 wait. Right. Open this. Go to this side over here. Dude. Stop snarling. It's not nice. Okay, so this is to summon Henriette. Uh, I don't think I am going to, because uh, we don't need help, I would wager. Q. 
Okay, just a s Okay, oh my god, what a delicious target. I do like his weapon, though. Okay. And we're going to be skedaddling out of here before that uh, big guy comes to investigate. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness, I thought it was a little item there behind the uh, corner. Huh, now guys, decisions, decisions. Do I proceed to fight a boss or maybe just go and uh, level up a little bit? I can't decide. You know what, gonna cut here and try to make a decision. You know what, <laughs> I say we go through with this. Uh, if anything, it might make this uh, playthrough more interesting. Like if I die? Okay, maybe I won't die, maybe... Maybe I'm going to succeed, who knows? In either way, it's going to be interesting. So she wants to partake in something. I'm not gonna be watching this, even though this is a cool little screenshot maybe for a thumbnail. Whoa! Man, this is loud on the... Over the headphones, sorry, I did not finish that thought, guys. Wow, that damage is non-existent. I kinda gambled there a few times. Okay, sorry for the lack of commentary, gentlemen, but... This is, uh... You know, time to concentrate. Whoa. Okay. Is this gonna do anything? Whoa! Guys, I did this no damage without the main weapon. How? I don't know. Okay, there we go, we did it. Ooh, nice! Gold pendant. Magnificent. Now, we're first gonna touch this skull. We're gonna touch it all over. Not in a creepy way. And you get a flashback of... Uh, you know, you had that last piece of cake in the fridge and you went to work and you thought about this mentioned piece of cake all day while you were working. You were very excited to come home. You finally get home. You go from the door straight to the fridge. You open the fridge and behold the disappointment. Someone had your last piece of cake. 
Tell me that didn't happen to you. I'm gonna be leaving you now with that thought while I go back to the dream and we're gonna be continuing. Okay guys, so I actually started playing and uh, I reached the forest over there and I noticed I wasn't recording. So I let myself die over there and we'll just collect those blood echoes, no problem. But uh, yeah, have to avoid silly mistakes like that. Luckily, it was uh, very close and not some uh, far point. Okay, finally, man. Nah, I should have healed first before collecting that. Uh, nighttime came, and to me personally, this is the most bloodborne y time of the game. Honestly, it just makes the atmosphere of the game so much more bloodborne. And when it comes to the bosses, like, pick our Amelia. Now, this is a boss that always kind of makes me a little bit nervous, uh, mainly because I never had any type of trouble whatsoever with her, you know. So I'm like, okay, is this going to be now? Okay, now I'm gonna struggle, you know? <laughs> but it never happens. And when it comes to the bosses, uh, I think my favorite boss would probably be German. Yeah, absolutely adore that guy. Just a sec, guys. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me just take out this gunman right here. And there's another one behind. Man, I tell you, the body system here... As I was saying, German has to be my favorite favorite boss of the game, but I absolutely adore the blood-starved beast that we just fought, like, not that long ago. And I'm actually surprised there are no metal bands or even metal songs, you know, blood-starved beast. Like, how would that even go? How would that even go? Wow, he actually dodged, man. Be like, blood-starved beast, can you feed it at least? No cookies or yeast. It's craving a send you in feast. Oh my god. And now everyone who ever wanted to hear Albetium sing had their hearts broken. Wow, still not dead. Okay, I can... Uh... I don't know what happened there. All of a sudden, I was on the receiving end. I tell you guys, do something a million times. And the millionth and the first time, you're gonna be making a mistake. Okay, snap that back in place. But there's always a second gunman. And a third gunman, and a fourth. Like if that isn't a uh, <laughs> skill. Okay. Oh, 
There we go. Gosh darn it, guys. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. This. It's, uh, it looks like I'm showing off, but uh, it's really not the case. It is how to... Just a sec. Of course. Whoa! Okay, I need to stop playing. Hmm. No idea what happened there to me for a second, but for me to finish that thought, uh, it's a little exercise to get a fine feeling for the character's movement. You know, the sensitivity of the sticks and everything. It looks cool when you pull it off. I don't, I don't think I am still there yet with the character itself. And man, look at these details. The trees, the branches, the tombstones, and uh, they are all at uh, angles also. Now this is pure poetry, visual poetry, honestly. Here she comes. Blood vial, nice. Lady, you are not my type. Twin stone shards. Nice. That's what we need. That's what we wanted. Madman's knowledge. Mind blown. <laughs> Always love that. Okay, maybe I should uh, farm here a little bit with... Uh... Hmm. Don't really need that. Okay. Here comes the Grateful Dead. But, uh, you know what, first things first, there's a puppy there, there's a lady with a thing that looks like it's been in the fire, and uh, you know what, I am not big on branding. There goes the dog, literally and figuratively. Oh! Man, I forgot! Absolutely forgot about uh, Chucker up there. And, uh... Yeah, you are next, Chuckery Chucker. <laughs> I can't believe it. I did that, actually. Just flew by her, man. Okay, hammer time. What? No items? Would be cool if she dropped me a hammer. Now 
Now he does have cover fire quite literally. Whoa, <laughs> again he goes. Now I always remember here this uh, screenshot. This was from the leaked images when uh, Bloodborne was still known as uh, Project Beast. And I just cannot believe how much time had passed since then. Time does fly. And to compare my life now to back then... I never would have uh, dared dream where I w will be, you know, 10 years. How long has it been since uh, Bloodborne basically came out? Another Grateful Dead. Whoa! Now these guys are a little bit in my head after that, uh, I don't know what even that was honestly. Okay, a shortcut just in case. Whoa! Man, she is determined to push me over the side. Yeah, you can ooh me all you want, man. Whoa, the arm on that lady, huh? Now this was absolutely a mistake. But mistakes can be fixed. Thank you for the Molotovs. Man, that that moves on its own like that. I'm pretty sure this is some sort of a fire hazard. Guy with a torch? Bunch of hay stacks? Would be funny though. If the whole thing just uh, <laughs> burned down to the ground. Whoa! Just a sec. No, that was very important to get. Whoa! Why did that move? My lock on moved, man. This was, uh, this was weird, not gonna lie. I mean, luckily you can't hear her there. But I am pretty sure that uh, some ended up being pushed over the side. Blood vials, come on. Nothing here, but such an in intricate little detail on the roof. Hmm. 
dude. I heard something. Come on, man. Let's do this. He missed. Lucky me. But I won't. Hmm. Blood vials. Okay. What the hell is moving there, man? Anything else here? It's just a puppy and a lady with a fire. There we go. Twin? Shards, nice. This is exactly what we actually need. We're gonna be getting a little bit. We're gonna be getting a little bit more oomph on our weapon, and that's that's always good. That is always always good, man. Anything here? Nothing. Just a bunch of wrapped bodies. I do hear very heavy breathing, and it's uh, one of these guys. No, let's uh, unlock this and uh, tell you what guys, I'm gonna make my way back to spend these uh, souls, so to speak, and also use those little uh, twin shards on my weapon and we'll be ready to kick some major ass. And we're back here with two executioners, they're just doing their rounds, saying hi to each other when they come close enough. Hey Steve, great night, isn't it? You bet, Mike. Same thing in the thermos, as always. Man! Okay. Oh, you want to play, man. Yep, he definitely wanted to play, man. Now, let's see... ...if Steve also wants to play. What the hell was that, man? I got stuck in the... ...tombstone. That's not fair, Steve! And what is with that reach? That was some crazy ass reach, man. Been a while since I fought these guys. You know what? No joke. Whoa! Did this guy return the hit to me? Crazy. You know what? <laughs> Unconventional invincibility frames right there. I do believe that there is one more somewhere. There she is, chucking things. It's the chucker. Lady, I do not appreciate your chucking. Anything here? Oh, it's the thing! Kill it! And 
kill it, I have. Okay. Wow, what a lovely room. <laughs> Probably costs still like 800 euros to rent or something. Okay, this guy... Cannot let these guys multiply like that. Now, where are these ladies? Ask and you shall receive. There she is. Okay, look at that. Look at this uh, sneakiness, huh? Whoa, they are both over there, man. So this is the other one. This is the other one. So the goal is to... Keep their HPs kinda close to each other. There we go. Where's the other one? Where is the other one? Lady, where the fuck are you? Oh my god, man. I can't see from this guy. And there we go. To dust you go. Uh, right. That is where we need to go. But first... Okay. Man, this... Uh, this poor hunter, man. Look at that. Alright, back to the dream yet again. Okay, now I think, I think I know where to go, but I'm kind of not sure. Oh, hello dear. Well, hello Thank too. Thank you. I mean, I'd like to tender my thanks, but I haven't much to offer. All I can give is my blood. How uh, would you even take a horse blood? Wow, I don't know... Oh, I... good. Come close, dear. Oh my god, I'm riddled with STDs now. I'm sure it's gonna be important for... something. I don't know. Okay, where are the guys here? No matter. Yes, bow before me, for I am thy master. I dwarf you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Whoa! Nah, he's just... Uh, he's just very eager to follow in my footsteps. Now, I think this is where we're supposed to go. Big cemetery. Bunch, and I do mean a bunch of madman's knowledge. Not to disturb those guys over there. There's, uh... Yeah, there's another one. Another two guys working the night shift. Wait, that's not where I came from, is it? Jesus Christ, I don't remember this... At all. What is up there, man? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Had to piece that uh, information in my head there. Okay, okay. I'm just slipping by, man. No. Shiny coins. 
fighting Squidward over there. Nah, no thank you, man. Okay, tempering blood gemstone. Let me just see if anyone is actually coming after me. Because I'm gonna talk to the guy here, and uh, you actually can put... Oh, good to see you now. Let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. Why is there no mouse-flavored cat food? Can you tell me that? I bid you farewell. May the good yes. blood guide your... Thank you, Mr. Uh, Fancy Fans. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the way. And you know what? This is probably a good uh, time. The password. Just a sec. This is one of the best, most awesome parts of Bloodborne. Already dead. Man, that's fucking cool. Okay, so we're going, and uh, you know what? I do believe this might be the perfect opportunity to end the first part of the playthrough on the next lantern. So we're going to be doing just that. No items here, just a bunch of rubble. And uh, Forbidden Woods. I feel like the Forbidden Woods is just a staple of these games by now. Or some kind of woods, forbidden woods, royal woods, hard woods. It's just uh, always like that. And you know what? I don't mind. I do not mind. I like woods. Like morning woods. It's just... It's awesome. Look at this guy just chucking things at me, man. You are next, Mr. Chucker. Man, can't do anything without stuff being chucked at me. Okay. What is this? Nothing, just a big marshmallow being uh, burned there. What? Of course, there is one of these guys here. Dude, don't you dare jump, man. Man, he managed to headbutt me. Okay, that? That's uh, pretty cool, but I do believe there is a item here. Something... Necessary. Madman knowledge. Uh, okay, gemstone. It's probably going to be pretty damn decent and of uh, much help. Okay. A kingdom for a lantern. Not sure what I prefer, honestly. Lanterns or bonfires? Lanterns, there is this uh, such a dreamy quality to it and I just love it. Guys, thank you for watching. This is the end of uh, part one. I'm gonna be recording the part two immediately, so stay tuned for that. If you want more, I recommend that maybe you watch that Dark Souls 1 playthrough. I've been told that it's really good gameplay-wise, commentary-wise, so thank you, thank you so much. Guys, seeing you in the next one very soon.